G'day friends and foes, RJ here with RJ's This Is Not Legal Advice, or Tinla for short. I'm just at the Brisbane uh, Freedom Day 2020, World Freedom Day, whatever you want to call it, protest. So here's Parliament House, and I'm just arriving. I should be on Channel 9 News tonight, and probably Channel 7 with uh, my protest that was in Surfers Paradise. <clears throat> so that's a uh, Parliament of Queensland and let's see what's happening here if they're still going hopefully they've got lots of people sounds like they've got lots and lots of people so that'll be cool there are police cars everywhere and yeah You know, How you going? Not bad. So it looks like they got heaps and heaps of people, so that's really good. People actually caring about freedom and the deprivation of our liberties. What that means is that people are taking away our rights and then there's people standing up and saying, bugger that. Say hello. Hello. You're Evelina. Sounds like they got heaps and heaps of people. So yes, that's no. really cool. The tree's being held up by maybe a metal pole. No, nah, there'd be maybe a thousand people. You can even hear with the the cheering how loud it is. So that's cool. Yeah, what? Okay. Excuse me. So Jamie McIntyre is speaking. That's pretty cool. So it might be a thousand people here, maybe. Wonder if they had any protests in Melbourne. They're just trying to get to the front as politicians and media are the viruses. Do it for the children. Do you want to go down the front? Yeah. That yeah, we're so elected to represent sign, you and I, like, oh, and are paid by our taxes like for taking <laughs> payments and, and induced and supporting our enemy. Whether that enemy is Big Pharma, Which way we whether that enemy is multi uh, foreign corporations or foreign powers. The question has to be, Dan Andrews, who are you taking your orders from? Yeah. 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 You're clearly not taking from our Prime Minister. No. No. Who is so running this country? Walk through. Who is running Victoria? We have, Victorians have every right to ask that question, but today you can say, still stand here freely. But how many more days? We don't know that. Excuse me. Yeah. What's Sorry. happening in, a, yep. in Victoria Thank is you. a test run to see how we stand up or whether we do yeah. not stand up. Does that make sense? Yeah. And we are standing up. And you have every right to stand up. Because we know we are being lied to. The real conspiracy theorists are those oh, Channel 7 News that push that upon us. Yeah. If we ask questions, are we entitled to ask questions, yes or no? Yes! yes. Are we entitled to demand evidence, yes or no? Yes! That's critical thinkers. Yes! 
That's what you build a s s secure and civil society on is critical thinkers. Yes. Despite being indoctrinated at school to conform and obey authority, we don't need any more people willing to obey authority. We need people to critically think and ask questions. That makes sense. And to be here today, you have to be that. So we are peaceful people. Is that true? We don't want war. We don't want violence. That's why we don't support the Victorian police and the violent acts against our fellow Australians. Is it true? Let's send a clear message to the Victorian police. We are watching you. We are watching you. We are recording you. We are recording you. And when this farce ends and ushers in a new world order. No way. Not the new world order they think they're getting. No. But our new world, new world order that we're bringing in. We shall remember the traitors. Yes. The traitors in our parliament. The traitors in our media. That betrayed fellow Australians and betraying the countrymen of people around this world. Yes. We will stand in truth and honour our ancestors and our people yes. that had to go to the trenches to defend our freedoms. Yes. All we have to do these days is defend our freedoms and speak up on Facebook. Yes. And some people say, how can we make a change? We already are making that change. Yes. Make sense? You guys already are making that change. Awareness is the first step to change. Yes. And now we're past 50% of the population is awake. Woo! A news poll two weeks ago said 70% of Australians will not take a mandatory vaccine. Yeah. 70%. In the, I never knew what would unite both pro-vaxxers and anti-vaxxers, but now we know. Scott Morrison. So we live in a true democratic society. Our Prime Minister would say the people have spoken and we will not force a mandatory COVID vaccine upon the people. But no, no, no. It won't be mandatory, apparently. You just won't be able to participate in society. You just won't be able to leave your house, and never fly again, never drive again, and never participate in society. Will we stand for that, yes or no? We will not stand for that, nor will Australians stand, and I know Australians, and you know this to be true, we will not stand for a totalitarian communistic future. Australians will take up arms before we live under that system. Is that true? Yes! So politicians hear that. Yes! Hear it loud! Hear that. Does it make sense? Yes! United we stand, divided we fall. Yes! And today we are united and we will divide them and watch them fall and we will celebrate when they fall and we rise again. Guys, all those shirts are already gone, so for those that missed out, you can, um, and actually I was going to say this earlier too, follow me on Facebook guys, because I'm putting out videos, I want to stay in touch with everyone and yes. make the plan and kick together, so it's on, on Facebook, my name's Tricky, T-R-I-C-C-Y, so T-R-I-C-C-Y, space, T-R-I-D-D for Delta, Y, Tricky, Tricky, we're making a site, a website, it's almost finished, it's called thepeoplesrevolution.com.au. There's going to be links to other groups, information, the plan going forward, events. So when I put events on my website, these buggers can't take it down. So that's where we're going to go check out events all around Australia. Um, all right, guys, I think it's time for a bit of fun. Let's have a bit of a sing along. I saw these crazy poms having a having a good old time in uh, London the other day, and I'm ripping their idea off. So let's get into it. We're gonna have a sing song. A sing song. Everyone's gonna sing. Really sing along. What? I've been waiting for 
We just had a protesting yeah, yeah. service paradise. And yeah, it should be on the Channel 9 News if they don't cut it. Probably. Yeah, and I was standing behind Stephen Miles, the uh, Health Minister, with my little sign, once. Reset Parliament. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> he plays drums well, doesn't he? He plays drums well. Just get organised real quick. Oh, guys, I do have to actually mention Greg French, guys. He's a big supporter of us. He, it's all his PA gear, thousands, you know, tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff. He's had a hard time through COVID, so if anyone needs any sort of uh, entertainment, you know, PA gear for hire, an event, anything like that, Greg French is his name. He's a true brother. He does all this for free and is with me every time. I've got to ask him. He's there already. Hey, hey, Brad. Hey, Mount Cooper, man. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Cheers. On two. Pop down. Make sure it can see that through. Yeah. Okay. Join in with us with this song. So it's a bit squishy, so I can't really get around, but, you know, yeah. listen near the front. One, two, here we go. You're never gonna make us wear a mask. No, you're never gonna make us wear a mask. No, you're never gonna make us, never gonna make us, never gonna make us wear a mask. You can stick your coronavirus up your ass. You can stick your coronavirus up your ass. You can stick your coronavirus. Stick your own virus, you can stick your own virus up your ass. Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we are the 99. We are the 90. We are the 90. We are the 99%. You can stick your poison vaccine up your ass. You can stick your poison vaccine up your ass. You can stick your poison vaccine. Stick your poison vaccine. You can stick your poison vaccine up your ass. We are the 99%. Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we are the 90. We are the 90. We are the 99%. You can stick your 5G towers up your ass. You can stick your 5G towers up your ass. You can stick your 5G towers. Stick your 5G towers. You can stick your 5G towers up your ass. Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we are the 90. We are the 90. You can stick your new world order up your ass. You can stick your new world order up your ass. You can stick your new world order. Stick your new world order. Stick your new world order up your ass. Sing it. We are the 99 percent. Sing it. We are the 99 percent. Sing it. We are the 90. We are the 90. Well, I'd rather be a human than a slave. Yeah, I'd rather be a human than a slave. Well, I'd rather be a human, rather be a human, rather be a human than a slave. Singing, we are the 99%.
Yeah, there are a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, you're barefoot. Are you going to go for a walk? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go for a walk through the city. There's some placards on the fence there. If you're going to pick them up and come, that's cool. Just uh, wait for me at the top, and we'll go from there. I'll get a couple of megaphones out. We'll do a couple of chants. But uh, I'm not inviting you to come. I'm just going to go for a walk by myself in my group of ten. Yeah, so we had about 15 people in Surfers Paradise. Uh, I wasn't able to advertise it until after the video last night because... Did you sing? Did you sing? Oh. They make it so you can easily know the lyrics. You hear it a couple of times and they just repeat it. Uh, so uh, I couldn't really advertise it because otherwise the uh, authorisation might not have happened. Uh, so then, uh, you know, it's authorised now and then there's the next one there I think in three weeks. And I even have in April an authorised one because they didn't oppose it in that time frame. Are you going to go for a walk with your bare feet? It's a lot of grey, Yeah, it's really cool. Thank you everyone for watching and sharing. I'm sure it was a very interesting day here. I should be playing the music. Yeah, yeah, that's all. And Stephanie too. Oh, okay. You can say hello to the other girl. You might be your friend. You say hello. Oh, sure. Sure, you? Not too bad. Yourself? Good. Yeah, I've been following you on YouTube as well. Oh, yeah, good. Rock Jensen, yeah. We've oh. met before. We, we met, uh, uh, was that in May? Yeah, we yeah, met before. At least we got recognised this time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, I didn't know who you were when you uh, went to do a video. Uh, video. Yeah. Oh, sure. I can stop if you like. No, no, no. You alright? Okay. Hey. Write me a message on Facebook if you want. We can meet up and have a coffee or something. Don't worry. Cheerio. Um, oh, he didn't realise I was doing a video. So he didn't want to say stuff on a video. Walk around here to the soft brown. So I don't know which way Tricky went, I didn't see. Maybe down this way. It looked like Andrew Thaler. I don't know if it was. Uh, so. So you got some big signs here. Where we go one, where we go one, we go all, that's what that first thing means. And that was on JFK, who was a president in America, he got shot, his boat, and it's got freedom, living woman. It actually looks better on the camera than in person, because it's a bit sort of blurry in person. <laughs> what else do we have? Trustee for the COVID Trust. So all that was was someone made a trust called the COVID Trust and then of course it has to say Trustee for the COVID Trust. All right. Freedom Day and the tyranny question everything. So did anyone actually go to a Melbourne protest or Mitchell? Hey guys, let's see the 
I'm trying to see someone here too. Finally made it. I am filming just so you know. Too, so. I am recording so you know. Okay. Yeah, so we went to uh, Surfers Paradise. We had about uh, maybe 15 people or 18 people, something like that. I should be on Channel 9 News. They did like a little mini interview afterwards. They had the Health Minister, Stephen Miles, uh, do an interview. So I'm just standing behind him with the sign saying Reset Parliament. <laughs> and then uh, one of, I think it was Channel 9, bothered to ask me, hey, what's that about? So... Yeah. Yeah, we only just got here 20 minutes ago or half an hour. Yeah. Stand up. Have you met Angela? Have you met Angela? Say, my name's Evelina. Evelina. That's Angela. Get up. There you go. Not too bad. Yourself. Likewise. Oh. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. RJ. Yeah. On Facebook. Yeah. Likewise. Thank you. Yeah. So I was the number one candidate for the Great Australian Party at the last federal election. And now I've got my own party and Gap's not running in Queensland. So. Yeah. Yeah, and this is Evelina. Hi, Evelina. It's Jason. Oh, uh, public announcement, anybody? Is Sabina still here? If Sabina is here, please come down to the speakers. Um, your friend is here. She's got your mobile phone. If Sabina is here, please come to the speakers. We had maybe 15 or 18 people. Well, it was only small, but I couldn't advertise it until after 5 p.m. yesterday. Otherwise, it would have made problems. But we have authorised protests, I think, in three weeks, and even uh, all the way up until April 3rd. Sorry, I'm my voice. Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And it's too hard to go there and then here and miss out. Oh, we live down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really cool. What a great turnout. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Oh, good day. Yeah, so we're gonna. Where they. Did you see where they walk? Oh, tricky set. Good day. Not too bad, how are you? Good to see you, brother. Likewise. You. What a great turnout they were here today. Beautiful, brother. Beautiful life. Yeah. How's the, how's the court case in the gov? Um, yeah, so just so you know, I am filming. Oh, but yeah. so, I don't know the fine. I can stick you in there. Hey. So. Hey. Red bench here. Yeah. So uh, basically, yeah. I've got two weeks uh, roughly to appeal it to the uh, Supreme Court. So I'm going to do that and then. It's going to be 28 days for me to get my stuff in, 28 days for them, then 14 days, and then we can make it possible. But if I manage to get a fine somehow today, a COVID one, I can challenge it early. Oh, beautiful. There you yeah. go, brother. God bless, bless you. God bless you, brother. Cheers. Have a good one, man. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and this is Evelina, by the way. That's Hi. Greg. Hi, Hi. Oh, not bad. Hi. 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 Have a walk yes. around here. There's Wayne as well. Salon. Wayne! Hey, G'day, how so you know I am filming. Oh, sorry, g'day, how are you doing? Uh, I'm not too bad. We just had. Film. Oh, yeah, we just, I was just saying in case you want to say stuff or whatever. But uh, we just uh, came from Service Paradise, so we had about maybe 15 or 18 people there. Is this your oldest daughter? Uh, yep, this is Evelina. G'day, do you want to say hi to Pepper? Pepper's the German Shepherd. <laughs> I think they called a sapphire one. Oh, that's right. That's the name of a horse that a lady recently got. What? Yeah. what? 
Oh, yeah, no, it's hard to hit. He said you can pack pepper. Pepper's a puppy dog. So this is Peppa. Where is she? Where is she? Sorry, the camera zoomed in, I think. Hello. Hey, good girl. Tim Peppa's a girl. Bye, Wayne. Hey going? I got dog hands, but I can still shake hands. How'd you go this morning, Yeah, so I had about 15 to 18 people, and then it was just little, but I had Stephen Miles there, the health minister. Oh, and just so you know, this is filming. Uh, so he apparently walked past when there was only one person waiting there, and then like laughed or smiled or whatever, and was walking with a lady. And then he ended up doing an interview, uh, and I just stood behind him with the sign saying resetparliament.com uh, and then the cameras are trying to move slowly and I just do the sign over here sort of thing and then channel 9 did interview me for like two questions just at the end so they might try they might not but anyway well good on you mate you did it so yep. great and you made it up here as well even better yeah only about 20 minutes ago though oh, okay oh, well you can catch the whole live feed on my page if you're interested yeah of course and I'll share it around as well. Are you gonna go for a walk? Or? Sure. Just gotta find uh, Kyola and uh, Yannicka. And this is Evelina, by the way. This is Matt. You want to say hello? Hello. Hi, oh, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Anyway, I'll see you around, Matt. So I'm just trying to see if I can see someone in particular. So I'm looking for someone specifically, but I, I'm, so instead of looking for everyone, even though everyone's here, I'm looking for one person that I want to find at the moment. Um, if anybody's still here wants to write a t-shirt down here, just you want to come So are you find a walk barefoot um, on like concrete? Are you, fair to, are you feeling fine to walk without shoes? Okay, you tell me otherwise, okay? If your feet start getting sore or whatever. So anyway, so I'll go for the little march and see what happens there. <laughs> and so that was uh, Matt Rosengarten. Uh, you can look him up on Facebook. Uh, he has the Truth and Freedom Report. And he filmed the whole thing. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that filmed the whole thing uh, in Brisbane, but I only got here maybe half an hour ago, 20 minutes ago, because uh, I was busy in Surfers Paradise. But, you know, we're going to try and find where the action is here in the little walk. I don't know where Tricky is, but there's some signs make Australia great again. And anyway, when I catch up to the action, it'll be probably more interesting. There are a heck of a lot more people here this week than there were about two weeks ago. Uh, so, you know, that's fantastic. Uh, I wonder how many people went to a Victorian protest. Uh, hi, I'll go through messages quickly while I'm trying to catch up. So, hi Earl, uh, I'm alright. Hi Nancy, Jody. Yeah, this is in Brisbane. Hi, Mark and Philip, Michael. Uh, Paul says, make sure you don't have any communists at your event, weed them out. Yeah, so this isn't my event. My event was in Surfers Paradise and I actually do know someone that's in a communist party that's actually a nice fella. So it's Adam who I actually met at the front of his parliament uh, once before. And, uh, yeah, I'd say there probably are more than a thousand people. Uh, it is quite hard to uh, judge sometimes, especially when there's big clusters of people that are 
stuck together and then there's big gaps and other people spread out. So high Cheryl as well. Uh, yeah, so this isn't in Melbourne, this is in Brisbane. Hi Janine, thank you. I did like the song and at least I was here for the whole song. That's pretty cool. Hi Sandy and Jack. Oh, that's a nice insult. Freedom from intelligence. Thanks. Uh, hi Jenny, uh, Jennifer, Daisy. Hi Barbara, I haven't seen your name pop up for a long time. Uh, so Victoria didn't do so well apparently, uh, which you know is understandable when people get jailed for protesting. Watch out, so lady can get past with the baby. And then when you're in this crowd, you have to keep up, otherwise you get screwed. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. So. So Dante says, if you don't like Australian law, go to Africa. Well, I suggest, why don't you go to Africa, Dante, and make the laws that you want there? I'm Australian. These people are Australians. They don't like the purported laws. It's not even law at all. So maybe you should bugger off. Uh, hi, Kassa. Just scrolling back in the messages again. Hi Hannah as well and Jean again with the sunflower. Hi Hillary. So we did do a protest in Surfers Paradise earlier today too, but of course there weren't many uh, people there, and I could only advertise it uh, basically after 5 p.m. yesterday. So, but now the protests in service paradise are authorized up until april for those particular dates hi jake as in a nice jake not the mean one who i already said hi to hi susie yeah simeon was there hi bronwyn uh what did you want to link to bronwyn yeah maybe maybe do you want to wait here a little bit, or do you want to try and go towards the front? Um, I don't know. What do you do? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so Wendy, you know, uh, we made our stand in Service Paradise anyway. So it was good, uh, the people that turned up there too, it wasn't just me by myself. So that's fine. Uh, Carrie says, when you try and impose tyranny and accidentally create the greatest awakening the world has ever seen, Hobart today was awesome, Jackie. we stand with you. Jackie. That'll be cool if you could send me like a link to a video from Hobart. So I may as well go here while I try and see where Tricky is or whatever. And then... Hi, Eddie's as well. Marianne, hello, says, this is not about health but about a New World Order agenda. People are waking up to the BS. Thank you for fighting for our rights. We say no to communism. Thanks for your comments. Kathy says, go Queenslanders. I'm so proud to be Australian. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice again. Uh, say hi to you. Hi to Brian, who apparently must be a loser because, you know, you, he says, get a life, you loser. So obviously, you know, it takes one to know one. So there's Brian for you. Uh, Lillian says, thank you for fighting for us Victorians. Uh, you're welcome. It's not just about fighting for Victorians. It's fighting for all people in Australia. Uh, Jean says, a lot of Australians are waking up. Roseanne, hello, says, good on you, Brisbane. Uh, Leanne, again. Everyone in Melbourne is so frightened, it's really sad. Yeah, and of course when people are frightened, they make silly decisions too sometimes. And unfortunately we have a lot of suicides, etc. Uh, during this COVID time. Uh, hi Cherie, uh, who's streaming. You're talking to and, uh, Cherie. Yeah, there's lots of people called Cherie. But not heaps of people. 
What do we So Dante um, claims we're fighting the virus so we can have freedom. So Dante, you close down Australia, you destroy the country, and then one person who's sick comes into the country and you're back to square one. That's yeah. not intelligent. That's very unintelligent. Yeah, you mean... Hi, that, Danny. Danny... Oh, yeah, what? what? You say, mean... You say. That, um, what was that? Um, what was that? What was that? Yeah, what? I don't know. You said, shall we? Oh, yeah, shall we? Yeah. Let the shall we all flag? No, not from Lake Macquarie or Newcastle. Uh, so Dan Halliday says, great social distancing, ha 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 ha, this whole thing is a complete joke, open the borders, let's get back to living. So, obviously the great social distancing part was being facetious. And then Jade, hi. Steve says, wait until it affects you, these people are standing up for all just like a just like our forefathers went to war for our freedom it should be five million people in brisbane only a hundred protesting dante says i think dante can't count uh, there's more than a thousand people here uh, and then says so who's right so that is a fallacy a logical fallacy called appeal to uh well you can call it different things but uh you know, you can appeal to the masses. I forget the actual proper term. It just fell out of my mind. Just like Dante's out of his, apparently. So, Andrew says, what they all lacking intelligence they make up for in stupidity. So I suggest that Andrew's a stupid one uh, for being so dopey. And hi, Darren, as well, and Shane. So I'll try and catch up towards the front. Okay. Oh, that's cool. You got your own sign. Traffic sign. <laughs> I just wait. I reverse the camera. There we go. <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we'll go around here and see what happens. There's a lot of police. Yeah, so it does make it hard to walk through the crowd when there's lots of people, but, you know, it's great that there's lots of people. Hopefully everyone's safe and happy and all that stuff so this street appears to be blocked off so I take it that you know we won't get in trouble for blocking the road a lot of police officers wonder why they're walking this way this time <laughs> So I have to walk through. I wonder who that comment was about. Claim of controlled opposition. Hey Dave. Not too bad. Where did Janice say? Woo! Singing. We are the Nazis. We are the Nazis. Maybe I should go annoy some police. In a legal manner, of course. But, you know, maybe they'll find me then. So that'd be interesting. People tooting, support. You're fine to walk on this type of ground barefoot? You're not going to hurt your feet? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to have to carry you or something. So it looks like we're going down that street and turning left. Some people cheering that way. Wonder if some. Sorry. Wonder if someone got a, arrested or fined or something. That might be why they're cheering. So, so Dante says, name me three other countries who gave JobKeeper to its citizens. One, that's a leading question because it's probably only called JobKeeper in Australia. Two, they're borrowing money and hocking our lives to give us our own money back, but then we have to pay interest on it. So. 
you know, there's Dante's intelligence exposed. Yeah, Matthew, uh, that is the Botanical Gardens. And then we're going for a walk somewhere. I don't know where, just follow the crowd. And then... <laughs> Thanks, uh, Darren, as well. Yeah, so I was in the Botanical Gardens, uh, which is out the front of the Parliament House, and now we're going for a walk somewhere. Just having a look. That's alright Tracy. Uh, so Tracy says ignore the ignorant comments RJ. Not worth even mentioning them. Was well, great turnout in Brisbane, good to see. But hey look, a lot of the bullies don't like it when you respond back. And also it shows how ignorant they are. And you know, you've got Dante claiming there's 100 people here. Obviously you can't count. If you don't like the law in Australia, he said, go to Africa. Right? How ignorant is that? Uh, also, what's Dante's qualifications? Is he a lawyer? Is he a doctor? What is he? So, I can't read Shane's comment. Uh, you know, the guy that claimed that Shane uh, has many interesting things on his profile claiming that he's a four-year-old that's adrian john wells and that he was a secret astronaut in 1984 and he has a picture of his uh st john ambulance uniform and claims that that's like his or implies imputes whatever that it is his secret astronaut uniform where he's receiving a medal from was it David Hurley? We got a free Victoria chant. Hi, Marianne. Yeah, so people can still make their ignorant comments, Marianne, uh, and that's fine. It just shows how ignorant they are. Yeah, what? Uh, okay, well, we'll have to go back in this park then, okay? Uh, so. We'll do that. Uh, hi, Shane and Anne. Lisa, it does have a lovely vibe. You want to go this way, Eve, so we can fit? Go. Then, indeed, Dante, what happened to freedom of speech? You're trying to belittle people expressing their freedom of speech. So, you're pretty ignorant doing that too. And sure, you know, you're complaining that There we go, I won't have to babysit anymore. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Really exciting. And it's Dan Comb, you are here by serve. You have a court case. You don't take it, I put it on the ground. Service, just wait. Service for Anna Stancombe. Can I just say Anna come from a place of love here? So Anna Stancombe. Maybe we'll do it another time. Maybe you shouldn't yeah. defame people. Anna Stancombe, you have been served legal documents. Yeah. Chuck it on the ground, everyone will see the things. You have been served. See you in court. By Anna, the defamer. And stalker and abuser. There we go. I found Anna Stancombe to serve her. So that's who I was looking for, of course, to serve her, her legal documents, her summons, etc. She, of course, assaulted me last week and has been very vile and filthy in her filthy criminal defamation, unlawful stalking, etc. Yeah, so I'm going to go around the thing then. Are you walking around? Yeah, and then it comes back here. Yeah, that's fine. You just wait in a park or whatever. You got battery? Bye. Okay, well, I'll meet you here. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, just planning uh, something. So, Sula or Sola says if you see police run, they just circled and ambushed Victoria and Sydney. Uh, that's interesting to know. There's Anna again. That's smiling now. 
anyway, so I haven't seen the news of course because I've been busy all day, but now I try and catch up to wherever the front is and you know, see if Tricky's there. And you saw Alona, Lan, being a smarty pants, trying to say we're all here for love, blah blah blah, serve her paperwork later, as in Anna, which is just ridiculous. And she should mind her own business. I assume that's a honk of support. So if I do get arrested uh, Sula, then you know, we have another crack in court. So to get rid of these COVID directions. Hi Jade, uh, who's not being respectful? And in what manner? Yeah, Peter, exactly. People are free to, to attend or they're free to stay home if they don't. Um, but, you know, people are allowed to protest and they ought to be allowed to. Yeah, Margaret, so when you personally serve someone, uh, you if they refuse to accept it, you can place it down before them and tell them the nature of the document and they are deemed served. So if Anna wants to leave the thin on the ground, then that's pretty dopey uh, with confidential information on there and, you know, it might well be another criminal offence as well as, you know, then she doesn't turn up to court and then she loses. Thanks, Troy. So I'm going to try and be quick and catch up to the front. And like I said, you know, if I was to get a COVID fine, then that actually means that I get to challenge it in court sooner than my Supreme Court appeal. Uh, as in the legality of the lockdown, etc. So, sorry, no fun. So look, you get bad people doing bad things and take them to court. Wipes the smile off their face. Uh, Shane says it used to be a good country. At or we were made to believe it was. Yeah, so probably it was more the latter, but at least we still had more freedoms than we currently have. But then as some people point out that, you know, this is potentially the event to wake a lot of people up. Trying to catch up to the front. So, wow, there's a lot of people. It goes for blocks, maybe three blocks, and then I can't see past there. It might be more than that. So, you know, what a great turnout. Proud of the Queensland people and also in wherever else uh, people have been protesting, but... <gasps> Hello, there how are you? you? Are. G'day. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Not too bad, I am live streaming just so you know. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah. Do you look a bit different with your little yeah, band dive? Bit of a, bit of a fluff happening there, mate. <laughs> so we all shaved yours off. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> 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 shave my hair off next. Me too. Oh. I got a big bald patch and I'm trying to either grow the hair over the top of it or get it like grow it long so I can shave it and make a wig. <laughs> Do like flacco. Yeah. And then over and do like, do you remember Flacco off TV? He had like a, he was a bald guy and he had like a texture mark as a single hair spun around his head. <laughs> no, no, I don't remember that. Really. Oh, like, comedian I've got the bottles, guy. I've got the manuals, and I've got the older ones. Did you have a good trip down? And I've got the e version, so like I spent. Yeah, good air. Can I do that? Yeah, it's really cool. Can't really cross the road legally unless it's blocked off. Perhaps. Maybe what I should do is cross the road and then be able to catch up to the front easier. That might be an idea. So I'll go do that. This is where Anna Stancombe assaulted me last week. She was semi parked in this spot. So look at that, isn't that beautiful? All the people standing up for their rights. 
Emily says, watch out for the common cold. You know, I'll just wait until I stop chanting. So look, you got another common cold virus, the rhinovirus, so maybe next year they'll do the rhinovirus. Everyone will be scared of the rhino, and they can have pictures of angry rhinoceroses. the road that could be the police officer that tutored me the other day maybe what wasted resources with all the police officers besides you know if there were some scumbags just had my name somewhere ah oh, hello this Karen Karen's in over there ah oh, hello how are you going Meeting everyone. Good day. Hello. Hello. How are you? Not today. Yeah. Good day. You know me, Facebook. I recognise you. Yeah, yeah. You would have heard me. You would have seen me. I've spoken to you on Facebook before now. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing a good job, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate the work, bro. Yeah. This is a great turnout here too. I was supposed to see you here. I put you in Byron Bay or something. Um, no, so I. Yeah, and just so you know, it is live streaming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone just said Byron went mental. Yeah, man. Just said Byron Bay. Yeah, yeah. Psychic. Yeah, that's a bit uh, weird, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, I had one in Surface Paradise, so it had maybe 15 to 18 people. Yeah, we uh, the Proud Boys all up here. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, so, are you in a march or are you just... Oh, we were just over there. We were up there earlier. Are you uh, going to go around the march and then go back to the thing, the nah, chat after? we're just having a drink and probably buggering off after that. But we oh, okay. went up there and still was a crowd in there. I think the police come and disperse it all. Uh, See, the Melbourne ones went through. No, because uh, I've been busy like live streaming all day. You know Thanos personally, do you? Uh, no, so like I used to be in a 99% admin group, yep. but you know, uh, I was really annoyed there too that you're getting like 300 messages every four hours yeah. as people just talking all sorts of crap. And I was supposed to be for moderating duty. Yeah. But anyway. I'm on your Facebook, bro. I'm Jesse Gasson. Yep. I'm that crazy guy that comes out with all the spills. No worries. Uh, if you send me a message uh, later, then yeah. you know we can meet up or whatever. Yeah. Uh, are you from here or are you from I'm Victoria in or something? I'm in Dimmel. Oh, okay. Just around here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So you can go meet up. Have a good one. Cheerio. Bye. I better say. Better say hello to you two. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm <laughs> good. Yeah. Had a great day today. Yeah. Good it's to so see cool. that the Brisbane police is being um, nice and helping and, and all that today. Yeah. Uh, complete opposites of Victoria. Ah, uh, yes. I didn't see yet, but I've got lots of videos of you when I'm at mm, home, I imagine. Mm, yeah. Someone said Byron Bay went mental too, so oh, I don't know what really, that means. That time's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, feel okay. free to send me a message or something yeah, on Facebook. Okay, see you Cheers. Mate. Bye. Just can't really talk to people about, you know, normal private conversations when I'm live streaming. But I don't want to seem rude to people either. When people call me over from restaurants and everywhere. And it's really cool though. So scrolling up to messages. Hmm. Still scrolling up. So up to Dante's 5 million. Oh sorry, freedom of speech comment. Uh, hi Peter, yeah they do some good chants, maybe they'll start again, wonder how many blocks it's going across, you know, probably at least five, you know, and the tyranny now, so, scrolling down again, ah, oh, so, I already did lots of these, things maybe I'll cross here lights green so why not how much with the people for a little bit read the messages people need to wake up to what is happening and join you God is with you Margaret says hi Margaret now we've got music and everything Danny says, good to see so many people not wearing the face diapers. Uh, do you come from Victoria where you have to wear them? Hi, Tim and Andy. So 
So just crossing with the road thing here happening. Guess they're doing some kind of electrical work or whatever. Another person. Hello. I finally made it. Oh, sorry. Hi. There's Holly. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for the Rona. <laughs> Leslie says no comb overs, please. Yeah, so I was, if I had time, I was gonna shave all my hair off today, but I didn't have time. Maybe I look better bald than having a giant fryer tuck haircut. Mm. Earl says, just don't comb your hair from side to side like a map science teacher. Uh, or mad science teacher. It will look crazy in the wind, haha. Ha. It already looks terrible in the wind. I can't even keep it down. I try and put it down and it pops back up. But well, it's funny. So, have to find out. We have to wait here, it's red light. <sighs> How many police officers are here? 100, maybe. There you go, didn't have to wait long. Didn't even have to push a button. Some more people over there but they aren't protesters I take it <laughs> yeah so who was it Dante said if you don't like the law go to Africa why doesn't Dante go to Victoria if they don't already live there of course So, Leanne says, good job. Tony says he's here because I support real people, etc. Nancy is so proud of us. Thank you very much, Nancy. I'm proud of all of you watching as well. You know, basically we need to create awareness because that way, you know, the government can't tread on us so much. Hopefully. Even if it's just because they fear that they're going to, you know, lose at the next election or whatever. Denny says, why couldn't America cheer on cars driving past? This is how it's done, people, no stealing, no breakout windows, no flipping other people's cars. Well done. Oh, sorry, just better cross the road. Well, I can. Uh, so, well, keep it going, people don't go home till the job is done. Yeah, so, you know, it might take a while to get the job done, so... There's an interesting mask. So, you know, it looked like Transformer dude. Looked pretty cool though, being like a uh, sun visor. So, Brett says this beats watching the television. I like that play in words. Dante, we're the police cavalry. We need a mass charge right about now. Yeah, so what kind of a violent thug is Dante wants peaceful protesters attacked by police? Those guys want to check out some food up there. They got say no to the prick with a picture of ScoMo. No mandatory vaccination. I saw one like that with Bill Gates, I think it was, or maybe it was Fauci. So you know, what creative people too. So what protests? It's a Freedom Day protest about uh, end of lockdowns, uh, all of that stuff. No mandatory vaccines, uh, you know. Uh, doped and duped, master manipulated, corralled and controlled, end of lives. Indeed. Thank you. You got, you have a 0.01% chance of dying of COVID. Statistics don't lie, politicians do. Oh, get out again. Do you want to finish your speech from this morning? No. <laughs> oh, <fair enough. laughs> um, just show the sign by having a chat. <laughs> it's interesting how we have to start and then stop, start and stop. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll, 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 give, I'll give it a bit of a go. Okay, um, I, I did a bit of a speech this morning and um, I had so many things on my mind and you know like you have about four things to say or whatever. I got a bit ahead of myself and it's something I wanted to say and um, the most important thing for me at the moment is save the children. 
Uh, well, what we're seeing here, uh, we, we're seeing good, good uh, population, good coverage of, of people here in Brisbane. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of coverage in Victoria because because of the heavy-handedness. Uh, I a lot a lot of good help from overseas, Berlin and London, uh, yep. and, and I think that's that's the way we'll make good movement. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, Victoria, uh, they they right. they felt like they had to make a stand, right? Yeah. And and it, it it's baby steps, but oh, it's only the beginning. Cool. It's only the beginning. But I think the real Achilles heel that we're going to get this movement on, right, is yep. get rid of the ninety the ninety year suppression order on politicians in Australia. All right. Yep. So Bill That's, Heffernan. That will be the Bill Heffernan. Yep. Bill Heffernan is was pushing. And I believe somebody else and another group will take on the baton. I'm not, I'm not really up with it. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm still learning myself every, every day of school day. Yeah. Uh, but this is the Achilles heel because a lot of them, a lot of them are in VIP places, right? Yep. Hollywood, yep. music industry, and in Parliament. Yep. And in America. And look. I've got the stage that I don't think we have a government anymore. Yeah. I, I um, uh, certainly not a representative one, at least. I I believe I, I truly feel my feelings that our government is proxy by the United Nations. Yeah. Yeah. And the same people who in the United Nations also run the WHO. Yeah. Right. So this government has allowed emergency services for the WHO to take over and rule our country. Yep. And uh, look, I'm seeing a great day today. I've seen a lot of freedom today on the Gold Coast so and here. Right? And, yep. And good luck, everybody. Yep, no worries. I was still saying, you're just trying to show something like people going past with the signs So I, I was a little bit better than that. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. I just got, got, a, got too many things and I'd like to sit, I've got a head in the top. Yeah, and there's so many things you passionate about that you want to speak about that you know sometimes it makes it hard it's like me I go off on tangents when I do my videos and whatever but like I said every day is a... <laughs> <laughs> see look what you're missing out on everyone <laughs> so you can't actually go through Queen Street Mall protesting unless you have a permit, uh, which is interesting. Wake up! <laughs> oh, I should be on Channel 9 News tonight too. Wake up! Uh, uh, yeah, so after you uh, and other people disappeared, they had Stephen Miles, the Health Minister, and he was doing a speech. So I was just standing behind him with a uh, reset parliament sign, the one that I had, and Then uh, afterwards, Channel 9 just asked me like two questions, but hopefully they stick it on. Boy, well, I've, uh, um, thanks for, you, for being able to meet you today and yep. we'll, we'll keep in touch. Yep. Uh, I'm on 929, but I'll just my room. Yeah, that's all. And it is recorded the same way, in case you don't want to just go. But you know my name, so you can just look me up and send me a message and say hello, whatever. Cool. No worries. I just... It's just a tension between chatting to people normally, but then I'm filming and there's nearly 500 people watching at once, so... And I've basically just been telling people just to send me a message or whatever, and we can meet up again and whatever. Okay. So, gonna catch up again. Where are we? We're in Adelaide Street. We're about to be in Adelaide Street. There's a. <laughs> so, what protest? The Freedom Day protest? Uh, It's like the Queen's Guards, this one doesn't even respond whatever you say. He's awesome. <laughs> he's alright, he's alright. Here we go. Oh! See, 
some music happening. I'll try and catch up the front, you know, the crowd is stretched out so much for this Freedom Day uh, protest that, and it's against the lockdowns and mandatory vaccination and tyrannical government generally, but it's so stretched out they might already be at the botanical gardens because there's so many people. So Mark says, good on you guys, we're sick of being in uh, lockdown over nothing, we aren't scared, they need to get out of our lives. Yeah, so really government shouldn't be, uh, you know, covering every single aspect of people's private lives or controlling it. You know, we're supposed to be adults, we should make our own decisions, so long as it doesn't negatively harm p other people in an unreasonable amount or to an unreasonable degree. Hi Max, Max says Anya's. Make sure it's safe to cross, little roads. No, I wonder if someone robbed a bank in some other place, if the police could even have people respond to it, or heaven forbid a terrorist attack or something, because they're all busy here babysitting peaceful protesters. Ah, so Heathage says that five people got, uh, at least five people got driven away or dragged away by police in Byron Bay. It is a bit hard to see this shaky phone, so I'm trying to keep it as still as possible. Uh, Brett says Pasco got arrested. Uh, was it recorded, I wonder? Vanessa says it looks like a school excursion walking in formation. Sure. No, why don't schools actually have, even though really schools shouldn't be political, but why aren't the school students all marching and protesting? It's their rights that are going to be more affected than someone that's 98 years old and going to die soon anyway. Uh, unfortunately, people die. Uh, but the point is that we're getting more and more tyrannical government over time. So this is Queen Street Mall. It's like the main drag of Brisbane. Got lots of little like antique jewellery shops in part of it and you've got Hungry Jack's, McDonald's uh, what is it, David Jones, Meyer, those kind of places Heathage says my friend went and he said anyone that asked why the people were being taken away were also being taken away so you know if the police are going to arrest someone here then I'll go ask them why they're taking them away maybe they'll arrest me then so Matthew says about uh, the sky being sprayed with chemicals. So I'm sure that link goes to a video that I skipped through, but I saw what it was about with like uh, satellite images or whatever of all the smoky stuff. Christine says, wish I knew I would have come. Uh, that's all right, at least you're here in spirit. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Dante says it means the police are following the law. So if the government if the government makes unconstitutional law, then the police aren't following the law, they're breaking the law by following purported laws. So the protest is about the lockdown and mandatory vaccination and other things. Mark says, good on you, the majority are with us. That's good. And then I'll do more commentary when it's a bit quieter. It's all right. Oh, sorry. Someone just dropped their phone, so. tinfoil hat it must be with assistant commissioner Cornelius in Victoria you know funnily enough maybe it is helping 
when I cross the road here, I'll get in trouble. So again, we're along Adelaide Street in Brisbane. I can't quite make out what they're saying. It's something, something Victoria, like, but a Freedom Victoria maybe, or Free Victoria. So you know, a lot of Victorians can't be with us in person, uh, or protesting in person in Victoria. So hopefully this somewhat makes up for it. Hat. <laughs> you know tinfoil is made of aluminium, by the way. Saw that sign earlier. Free Victoria. Even the crowd's getting interested in participating. So police are being nice to people here, so that's good. And you know, it does help if you, like besides in Victoria perhaps, but it does often help if you're positive and amiable to the police that hopefully they reciprocate. Sometimes they don't, but you know, sometimes they do. It's like if you're going to get arrested, then what's the point of resisting if they're just going to beat the crap out of you? Unless, you know, there's some kind of ancillary reason for that. Got these ugly looking rocket kangaroos here. But, you know, someone's still creative to put it together. <laughs> it's like in Newcastle, they've got all these little feet statues, or they used to. Yeah, right. like, what? <laughs> What do you think of the protest? Uh, that's what happened. Yeah. And if it wasn't so well hidden, it would be a lot more people. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, even organisers have to say, oh, you know, I'm just having a picnic or whatever. Oh, uh, the organisers got arrested two days ago. Ah. Oh, like this. Yeah. Ah, oh, interesting. And in Melbourne and Sydney, they're drinking people out of this. Yeah. And apparently five people were arrested in Byron Bay. At least five people. Byron Bay's office, they're a bit different. I used to live down there. Yeah. yeah. No worries, I better try and catch up to the front. Nice meeting you. Free Victoria. Wake up Australia! Wake up Australia! Free Victoria! Okay, try and get up the front again. Free Victoria! Free Victoria! I hear a megaphone now, so... What awesome people turning up and awesome people watching as well. And, you know, get the message out, please. Please share everywhere. And the more people that know about this, the more the news can't hide it, the more it gets done to fix the situation. So this is George Street. We've got some really cool buildings there. It's a Treasury Casino. That used to be the old Treasury building. But now they probably make more money by gamblers. Even got pushed by police here. So, trying to catch up. It's not showing me the previous messages because there's been so many messages. Uh, but maybe it'll work later. 
So hopefully we can cross the road soon. Right, people are hugging. Wow. It's so offensive to some people. Oh no, you're going to spread the virus and kill grandma. It's not. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, I assume it's an authorised protest, so it's okay to cross the red man without getting done for obstruction, obstructing traffic. <laughs> or maybe the traffic light isn't working there, and that's why people cross. <laughs> so I get back to the botanical gardens and then try and start reading more comments. Signs. Great to see some Australian flags. If they're blue or red or pink or purple, whatever. Maybe not pink or purple, but you no know, blue ones. My preference. And then there's people who claim that the red one's a real flag, but there's no actual referendum for that, and that's why they claim that the blue flag isn't the real one because there's no referendum. Excuse me. The music and dancing. Look at all the fun people are missing out on staying at home. It's nearly like when World War II ended and you know, had the famous picture of the Navy guy giving a lady a kiss. Big farmer lies, running, ruining lives, I think the sign says. I turned it when I was reading it. Again, I'll try and catch up a little bit. I think Tritty, Tritty's there. I'll go up the stairs. See, you're filthy people that aren't the protesters. All rubbish on the ground. It's tricky. Free Victoria! 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 There's a sergeant from two weeks ago. have all these little scooters in Queensland or Brisbane at least and apparently you just use your credit card and then borrow it. As journalists So 
But look how many people turned up. It's so excellent. And this isn't even a start of the parade or march or whatever you want to call it. Uh, people are stretching for blocks. Again, I'll go catch up to the front, I guess. Unless there's people doing interesting things here. Stand up to film. I wonder how many people the news will say it is. 150? United we stand! United we fall! United we stand! United we fall! United we fall! No! Chance going quick. So I guess they matching up here. <laughs> Hopefully we don't fall here. More and more people are coming. Victoria! Free 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 Victoria! It's hard to spin around here, but. Free Victoria! Free Victoria! Free Victoria! People are still coming, there's just a bunch of people crossing the road. United we stand! United we fall! United we stand! 
Exactly, Clayton. Maybe a lot of the negative commenters aren't from Victoria. <laughs> Looks like the police might be getting ready to arrest Tricky or something. Maybe I'll go down there and see if they'll arrest me too. I'll just get down. How can I get there? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Facebook or whatever, I'm just doing live videos so I can't like do normal conversations. Yeah, because I still like them to them at uni, but I want to learn more about the laws. Oh, yeah? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. How are you? Remember you from... When was that? Back in early May. Victoria! I forgot you were her daughter. <laughs> You look a little bit like a lady we knew from Newcastle, Port Alexander as well in the face. Have you finished your degree yet? Or did you already... Oh, you finished ages ago. You should Divided we fall! 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 Div
place everywhere, the including on Mox veins. The bottom three falls. The bottom three falls. Free Victoria. Free Victoria. Free Victoria. Free Victoria. Free Victoria. Free Victoria. I think that place is new. Free Victoria. Victory over the tyrannical Daniel Andrews government. And you know, the Liberals there aren't doing anything about it either. Nor anyone else in a Victorian Parliament, it seems, with perhaps a few exceptions. So my head's blowing around a bit. But Save our yeah, children! Yeah, where's the love? Save our children! 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 government, hear our voice! There's Channel 7 News. Maybe they'll interview Tricky. Where there's risk, there must be choice. There's a plastic didgeridoo. Sounds nearly like a Viking horn. More police getting out. I wonder where Tricky is. Save our children! 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 So again, this is a parliament building. So we are supposed to have two houses of parliament in Queensland, of course. Uh, as with every other parliament, but Queensland, Northern Territory and the ACT and I guess Norfolk Island's little parliament are uh, just single uh, chambered parliaments. They don't have an upper house. There was in 1917 a referendum to abolish upper house in Queensland and people voted no, they wanted to keep the parliament uh, having a legislative council or an upper house. But then five years later the government just got rid of it anyway. So the upper house wasn't elected back then, uh, or at least not all of it. So the then Labor government uh, went and uh, get out, Adam. Yeah, not too bad. I can touch you, but I'm just live streaming. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Good turnout. 
<laughs> it's better than back in May when we had like 20 people, 10 yeah, people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Did, you, did you have an action in service Uh Yeah, so I had maybe 15 or 18 people yeah. uh, and I should be on uh, Channel 9 News because I had the health minister there. After the protest left, yeah. uh, they started filming because they got like a mobile COVID clinic yeah. and then I was just holding a sign behind the uh, guy saying reset parliament yeah. and just quietly protesting, not being a jerk or anything. Yeah. And then they did a two question interview yeah. again. So hopefully yeah. they make it there. Oh, well, yeah, it's all, yeah, yeah. It's all, yeah. yeah, and spread the news and the message and yeah. get people aware. Yeah, that's right. Nice chatting to you. Now look how many police there are. Who knew there were so many police around? As the sign says, where there is risk, there must be choice. And who died to make the government go? The government can only get powers that other people had to give uh, in a social contract theory. So if you don't have the power to inject someone against their will with a substance as an example or to lock them in their house for no good reason then the government can't do that either so i don't know if tricky's in front of us or behind us enough is enough and i hope you policemen out there are listening because seriously there's alana Look like a glow in the dusk, V for Vendetta slash Guy Fawkes mask. So I don't think anyone's been arrested so far. So that's interesting. They'd probably, I imagine Tricky will get a fine in the mail or something. Because uh, apparently he got a fine in the mail for the protest that was two weeks ago. And, you know, that was a really good turnout as well. I don't remember exactly how many people there were approximately, but maybe 500 or something. Uh, but this one is a heck of a lot more people. So, you know, maybe 2,000, 1,500, something like that. I think it's somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000. But it's not as big, I don't think, as on the 30th of May, uh, the big protest there. But... Anyway, so... G'day. Oh, how are you going? Some more cool people. Look, a lot of cool people turned up. Hey, look, there's another Hawaiian shirt. I've got my Hawaiian shirt on. We should be like brothers. Myself and the gentleman. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. So obviously there's many groups out here protesting as well. Uh, so it says, in memory of our God, our religion and freedom, and our peace, our wives and our children. Captain Maroney. So someone might know who Captain Maroney is. Maybe it's a Mormon angel. Just trying to see if there's something interesting happening. Like, Looks like they're just regathering up there. Maybe that's where I should go next. No, it's convenient they have a big platform so you can film. So just go down here. Uh, this is an interesting Australian feature for any international viewers. So that's obviously representing a magpie or some other kind of pied bird as in black and white. There's warning, birds swoop in. Many birds such as butcher birds, magpies and miners nest in this area and may swoop on passers-by. This is a normal protective behaviour during the breeding season and lasts up to six weeks. To protect yourself <coughs> uh, during breeding season, uh, season, move quickly and through the area. Don't run, wear a hat or carry an umbrella. Bike riders dismount and walk. So what's a, a worse bird is you have a thing called a musk lapwing or a plover and they have spikes on their wings and they're a lot bigger than a magpie. So I've never been swooped by one. Uh, I think I've been hit in the head a couple of times by magpies in my life, but well, I imagine the other birds are a lot worse. They're just getting text message, where are you? There's so many people. No, and that's a good thing, so I guess someone's looking for me, so I'm going this way anyway. 
I just found the person who's looking for me. So look, uh, also with the protest two weeks ago, there was another march, again, that had a different route. So it went up George Street, then, or oh, where to turn right? I don't remember, but then down, oh, I can't even think of the street names at the moment. But a lot of people didn't want to do the march because it was suggested that the police would arrest people. But then, you know, people come out and they see that people can go out and not get arrested. Again, it's another reason for the protest in Surfers Paradise today to show, hey, look, the police don't have to pick on you. Uh, you can go out and protest, in Queensland at least. Uh, even though, like I said, maybe Tricky might end up with a fine or a loner. Uh, Lan or whatever. There's Anna Stancom again. Interesting. Anyway, so try and see if there's like police harassing Tricky or whatever. Or hello, you got your shoes on now. They're just uh, marching around. I don't know if he's back yet or not. They still look like they're packing up the stage area, but oh, it's tricky there. So, you know, the police aren't here either, so. Dude with a big diamond in his earrings. Or whatever. So, this again is the Botanical Gardens. We're in Brisbane. Uh, there was the World Freedom Day or Freedom Day protests all around Australia, apparently in Victoria too. Apparently a lot of people got arrested in Victoria and at least five people in Byron Bay. Uh, reading from the messages people have been sending. Uh, unfortunately I'll have to reread through the messages after I finish the broadcast because it doesn't show all of the video, or all of the messages of course. Here we go, this might be some action. Here's a senior police officer with his peach cap. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Yours? I'm working. Okay. I'm working too. Watch the Raiders, kick the Roosters' ass too. Go to the Raiders. Yeah, yeah, you get that. Close off and come for a walk with us. Oh, get onto my Facebook page. Don't scut me out. But look, 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 look. Watch my videos. Yes. The truth's coming out, man, and you're not working with people. I'm telling you right now, man. So, we've exercised while tolerance and we let this go on yep. today. Yep. Okay. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. There were breaches everywhere on the Chief Health Officer's yep. uh, directions. I know a lot of people don't believe in those, but that's, the, but, that's the, but that's the law we have struck. Yes, so we've okay. exercised discretion. It's not a law though, it's a restriction. There's a okay. difference. Yep. So that's the direction that's been given. Yep. What I'm just saying now, the police are going to leave, yep. okay? Are these people going to disperse now? No, I can't. Man, because I, this is unlawful. Yeah, it's not unlawful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I gather people to help you out human rights. It's a breach. It's our human right to gather. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Article 19, so right, 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 yeah. and freedom of assembly, freedom of information. Yeah. Privacy Act 1988. Yeah. It doesn't bother you guys, you're looking at the same thing we get to say. You can learn something. Yeah. 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 Learn about what's going on. Right. With we'll move out here, we'll be in touch. Of course you will. Thanks. We're going to find them. How many fines do you want to get today? How many fines do you want to get? Remember guys, you have to choose a side before it's too late. I'm sure you will. <laughs> I like what you said today. Thank, Thank you, you for coming, everyone! Three cheers for Tricky! Three cheers for us all! Hip hip! Indeed. Yeah, come on. Go this way. Davy. Sorry. You're right. Thank you. Why don't you take the photo?
So look, the police are saying about uh, is everyone going to disperse? Really, that's everyone's choice if they wish to have a picnic or be in a park. To see what Tricky says. Uh, I'm just missing someone. Hi there. It's fine. Do not, do not wear a mask, do not get vaccinated. Alright? Stay to the truth, guys. Yeah. Speak, stay to the truth. We know what's right. Do not let them push around, push us around. The way forward is for everybody to start speaking to the neighbours. Kills your community, guys. Everyone start growing food. Stop eating that crap that they disturb you at the supermarket. It's grown in dead soil, it's covered in pesticides and herbicides. Yes. It's killing us slowly. The vaccines are killing us slowly and making us infertile. Yeah. Grow your own food. Become self-reliant. Rely on your neighbours and build your community, guys. That's how we get forward. If we stay as reliant as we are now on the system, they've got us. We have to break free, and I mean this. Next time I see you, I want to, I want to ask random people what they've done. I want to come in the crowd, I'm going to get you up at the microphone, I'm going to ask you, what have you done since last time to become more self-reliant? It's important that we do this, guys. It's very important. If we don't do it, we're screwed. I love you all, guys. Thanks for coming out. Go home and reward yourself. So like I was saying, why can't people stay in a, get a, uh, in a park and have a picnic or whatever? You know, it's a giant open space, excuse me. Excuse me? Yeah? Where are you, where can I find you? Um, uh, if you look at RJ Martin, say so type on AR, uh, on Facebook. Okay. So, A. I'll just set the camera so it's not just looking for an person. Uh, yeah, so all joined together. My first name's A R J A Y. Space, Martin. Uh, yeah, but it's actually for Australians. So, not actually RJ Martin's for Australians. The dogs find them $1,800. I wish I had known that when they were fucking. Sorry. When they were down here. Thank you. And my name on there is AJ Martin as my personal profile. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. This is an example of how we need to stand together. So who will try and pick us off. They're going to pick me off. They, pick, they gave me a fine last time. I'm not going to pay them and take them to court. I'm going to win. So they can always stand up. Don't pay. No, we fight this. Don't give them revenue stream. What do you mean, mate? I need money. We're going to go to court, bro. <laughs> Listen, this is, a, this is a perfect example. They're picking us off. The guys, the speakers, they pick them off. And then we have to find our own speakers. Stand together, guys. Unite. This is how we do it. All right? Stay strong. I love you all. So something about a fine that someone got today or something. I didn't quite catch that because the lady was asking for this page's address on Facebook. So it's RJ Martins for Australians. And anyway, so I'm RJ Martin for new viewers and I have a lot of legal type videos and and constitutional law uh, videos. Uh, I do have a Juris Doctor law degree, uh, but I'm not yet a lawyer. And you can look up those videos, type in TINLA, T-I-N-L-A, which is short for this is not legal advice and this is tin layer 50 and you know i've got 49 other ones some of the topics include about why we don't really have such a thing as queen of australia so that'll be tinler's episode one and nine i think uh interviews with people occasionally like tinler five which is with uh, peter little uh, the australian lawyer and uh, what else some of the other topics are why the stuff about St Edward's crown is garbage, uh, as in Stephen Spires claims that the Queen isn't the Queen because she got coronated with the wrong crown. That again is garbage. The St Edward's crown is actually called the uh, coronation crown and it traditionally is used for coronating the monarch and then they leave the palace uh, or Westminster Abbey, whatever it is, uh, with the imperial crown on and anyway so what other videos do I have? so I have I cover a lot of uh, events 
uh, have done for a few years. A lot of them aren't called uh, Tinla, uh, so it might be event, you know, one, event two. Maybe I'll rename those just so it makes it easier for people to find these videos. And anyway, uh, I do do other topics as well. I'm going to do a video eventually on why the Australia Acts are invalid. Uh, what else? No, a, a lot of it is based on people's feedback too, what they're interested in. Uh, David Wynn Miller, who was a guy who came up with or popularised a lot of things such as uh, the all caps name and you've got your straw man and that's represented by the all caps uh, or dog Latin or glosser as Romley Stewart calls it of the Justinian deception and that that therefore means that you are representing a corporation and you do these big stupid speeches in court and supposedly you win every time yet everyone loses unless you can convince a dopey magistrate that doesn't know what they're talking about uh, and of course most magistrates hopefully aren't dopey but uh, they're known uh, magistrates courts which are local courts in New South Wales for instance are known as magic courts because it doesn't matter what the law is uh, you go in there and Whatever the result is, no one understands why that result occurred and often it is against the law, which is why you do have a right to appeal to higher courts. So I do have an appeal from a magistrate's court that then went to uh, the district court. So originally it was in the magistrate's court on the 29th of May and that's when a police officer illegally in her private capacity prevented me from... Uh, doing a protest under the Peaceful Assembly Act, they cannot do that. Uh, and then the magistrate uh, didn't even care about the law and just uh, didn't even allow submissions, basically. Uh, all I got to say was uh, something like... So the magistrate basically said, uh, there's a threshold issue. He claimed that I didn't fill in the form correctly, which is uh, incorrect. He claims that where I wrote unknown for two of the fields, that that means the form wasn't filled out that cheerio that uh, write there me a message on facebook if you want uh so that means that uh, according to the magistrate that putting unknown were not answers therefore i didn't fill in a form therefore there was a threshold issue i.e the court didn't have jurisdiction but it was a police officer's application which means if there's no jurisdiction which there wasn't uh, in terms of uh, a different issue uh, which is that there was no mediation which is required by law before the police commissioner can take you to court to prevent things and a sergeant or hire can represent the police commissioner but you know she sued me in her personal capacity illegally and with the threshold issue that means that the police application should have been dismissed and it was abusive process as well but the magistrate said oh there's a threshold issue so the application succeeds which is the opposite of the law and basically you know the courts are bound to the law even though they don't often or sometimes they don't follow the law and i'm oh, just trying to look at some comments uh, and anyway, so then I took it to the district court. You cannot appeal to the Supreme Court from the district court. It's prohibited by statute, uh, or statute bar if you want to call it that. And the district court on appeals from the magistrate's court have all of the powers of the Supreme Court's Court of Appeal. And that again was ignored. You also have a thing called uh, the writ of certiorari, or a writ in the nature of certiorari. A whole heap of sirens going off. And anyway, that specifically was for where there was no right of appeal, that you could still appeal things. If there's certain situations such as a uh, error on the face of the record, i.e., you know, the court buggered up the law and wrote in reasons, stupid reasoning, as another example. And then, uh, anyway, so then the police uh, officer's legal team, which was a QPS, uh, which arguably they shouldn't even be allowed to use uh, for various reasons. Uh, but they put in an application that the district court has no jurisdiction and then 
which again is incorrect, so then I have to appeal it from the district court to the magistrate's court. I do have a uh, GoFundMe account, uh, which is specifically for court action stuff, and basically with this court action, uh, we can get, if the court follows the law, which they're bound to, but as I said, sometimes they don't, but gets rid of the COVID directions in all of Queensland, and therefore, you know, that can be used in other states and territories as well. And there is also the option that from the Supreme Court uh, that it either gets appealed to the High Court by either party, uh, which is only with leave of the court. So the High Court has to say, hey, look, it's a serious issue and needs to be addressed properly if the court below stuffed up basically the law. Or it can also be removed to the High Court, uh, as in sent to the High Court from a lower court under a Section 78B notice. Uh, which is 78B of the Judiciary Act and basically under Section 78A of the Judiciary Act the Attorney Generals or Attorneys General have the right to uh, either intervene as in you know make themselves a party of the court case or to remove it to the High Court because they say hey look this is such a serious sin it not only affects Queensland if the COVID directions are invalid or whatever so then if it's done by the, hello, Hi, uh, if yes, it's sir. done through the High Court, uh, especially on constitutional grounds, such as Section 69 of the Constitution, where the states gave uh, all of their quarantine powers to the Commonwealth Government, uh, Section 117 about discrimination of residents from one state to another state, uh, such as Anastasia Palaszczuk recently said, Queensland hospitals are for Queenslanders, or words to that effect. So they can't do that. Uh, it's illegal. Uh, Section 92, in terms of border closures, and uh, that applies to intercourse or travel, even for normal people. It's not just about uh, trade, uh, although you know businesses have been affected, and obviously that can be applied to intrastate borders as well such as in Queensland we had restrictions where people weren't allowed to travel more than 50 kilometres from uh, their residence, unless it's like if there is an essential worker and they're doing that. But you couldn't do that. Uh, and the government's not allowed to do that. They also had 500 kilometres for people that live, you know, in the middle of whoop whoop, so to speak, i.e. Uh, far away from service centres. Uh, you know, you have a lot of small communities, like, you know, there's a place in Queensland called Miles. And, you know, it's miles and miles away from Brisbane and from major hospitals, that kind of thing. So, you know, there might be people there that need kidney dialysis or, uh, you know, or even just to go to the shops or whatever. Then maybe the shops in Miles aren't, you know, there might be something that they don't supply, like a fridge or washing machine or something. So... Interesting. I'm just trying to quickly look through comments. So there's a lot of hate. So, you know, what's the point of hating other people unless they're a-holes to you? Sure, it's fair game if people are jerks to you to be a jerk back, but hopefully, you know, most people aren't outright jerks. Then just scrolling. And for those that don't know, uh, I do have a political party called Reset Parliament. Uh, we are looking for more members Australia-wide, but particularly in Queensland. Uh, we should have already been registered in June, but because of the government basically doing certain actions, then that hasn't occurred yet. So we need to get the registration in ASAP before the writs are issued and also giving time that... Uh, the writs are where the governor calls an election and also basically you have to have 500 members that aren't members of a different political party and then the electoral commission will send out letters I don't know why they can't just call or use emails but uh, send out physical mail saying hey are you really a member of reset parliament and then you tick off yes and send it back in a prepaid envelope and you know then hopefully the party can get registered in time if not we have to run people as independents but the law is such that 
they rip people off if you are an independent. So, just looking at something. What's that? Oh, some weird smelly root someone uh, showed me. Uh, so anyway, then what else? Yeah, so with Reset Parliament, I'm running personally in Surfers Paradise. Uh, Reset Parliament, as far as I know, is the only political party uh, in Australia that is actually taking on the entirety of the COVID directions in court. Uh, there is Clive Palmer with Section 92 about uh, interstate commerce or travel or whatever, uh, and other major part of the constitution that is affected by COVID is about mandatory vaccination uh, or mandatory medicine. So there are basically uh, in section 51 subsection 23a of the constitution it says that the government can provide uh, dental and medical services so long as it does not constitute civil conscription. So you have SCOMO saying hey we're going to make a mandatory vaccination or as mandatory as possible and then backtracking on it when 75% roughly of 100,000 people said hey no way Jose uh, and then he said basically oh, I don't mean mandatory I just mean and this is paraphrased but coercive which is the same as mandatory either do it or there's going to be big problems for you you can't travel you can't go on public transport you can't go to the shops and you know you can't do that so uh, you know, as I said, I don't think any other party or any other person is challenging all of the COVID directions and also mandatory vaccination, which will be a part of it, uh, in the courts. So please support uh, Reset Parliament back. If you are interested in being a member or a candidate, then please contact me. Uh, you can go to resetparliament.com. That's R E S E T. P A R L I A M E N T dot com, and then when you type that in, it'll actually go to rjmartin.com. Uh, it's just a redirection at the moment because uh, I don't have time to fiddle with the website so much. And you know, uh, read about the party, it's got the party constitution. Uh, it says, you know, send me an email uh, with reset in the subject line and to vote v-o-t-e dot a dot martin m-a-r-t-i-n at gmail.com and i will send you a copy of the constitution of the party and it's a very simplistic one uh, or a simple one uh, if you don't like the terminology simplistic but then also the application form and you know read through it if you want to sign up then please do and then email back that uh, application form and you know you can be a member as long as you're not like a nutcase or something you know someone might write you know just start swearing on application form obviously they would be not very fit and proper but please do that uh, with the GoFundMe account which is as I said is for court actions uh, and so far I uh, in the court below being the district court uh, I have had costs awarded against me the police keep refusing to tell me how much those costs are uh, so that's interesting you'd think they'd want their money but obviously there's some kind of issue there including that the judge got the law wrong so gentlemen having a little speech Yeah, so if you look on GoFundMe.com uh, or .com.au and type in COVID-19-84 court case, it should come up and you'll see it'll say fundraiser by AJ Martin, that's my name on Facebook, and, you know, please contribute to that. You can also uh, donate personally to me if you really like. Uh, at uh, PayPal dot me forward slash rj martin a r j a y m a r t a n yeah i'll go see what this gentleman has to say if he's still going it's for our people this is my tattoo the face of god Thanks, brother. Brother. 
I need a hand. Can, can people help me carry this stuff up there? Oh, well, we got to do mahi. Got it. Thank you so much. Cheerio. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, thank you very much. All right, you can send me a message if you want on Facebook, if you like, or whatever. Thank you, bye. Okay, uh, so I'll bugger off now. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we did have probably 500-odd people watching at a time. So presumably the video is going to get maybe 20,000 views and maybe 60,000 people actually watching or seeing the video exist. Something like that. There's like a little bit of a formula you can work out. But hopefully everyone can share a lot more. So just quickly scrolling through some of these end comments. And... Again, you know, you've got a lot of people arguing, fighting each other. Uh, Chelsea's saying about body shaming. I don't know who that's related to. So, you know, it would be helpful if people could debate without insulting. You know, uh, when I was here two weeks ago, uh, there was some twat tried setting me up for something. And, you know, on her wall on Facebook, she has people saying, you know, I'm a chunky thin and all this other stuff, as well as other evil criminal defamation things. And, you know, that's terrible. Why can't people, if you disagree with people, then just do it being friendly? You know, and hopefully they return that. So, someone left their sign here. In truth for peace. Maybe I'll take that as a souvenir and so it's not left here trashing the park. Anyway, cheerio. Please like, share, subscribe, donate, whatever. Uh, be well. And... Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to say hello? Yeah. Look, look, look. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.